Good day everyone! Welcome to Math Made Easy with Mom Bell. And if you are new to this channel, Lovely Day with Bell, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for you to be notified to my upcoming videos, okay? Our topic for today is about visualizing multiplication of fractions using area models. In this lesson, I will show you the relationship between area models and the concept of multiplying fractions. We will use area model to develop understanding of the concept of multiplying fractions as well as to find the product of two common fractions. But before that, let's review first what is fraction. Fractions represent equal parts of a whole. Fraction of a whole, when we divide a whole into equal parts, each part is a fraction of the whole. A fraction has two parts. The number on the top of the line is called the numerator. It tells how many equal parts of the whole are taken. The number below the line is called the denominator. It shows the total divisible number of equal parts to make up the whole. Let's consider the following examples. Example number one. Carla bought three-fourth slice of a pizza. She gave two-thirds of it to her sister. What part of the whole pizza did Carla share to her sister? So let's start our problem with what is two-thirds of three-fourths? And then we're going to visualize our problem using the area model. Okay, so let's start with three-fourths. First, we're going to draw a rectangle. This represents the whole pizza. Then let's divide it into four equal parts as to the denominator. And then use the numerator to determine how many parts that need to be shaded in. So in our example, our numerator is 3. So we will color the three parts pink. Next is, we're going to divide our rectangle horizontally using the number in the denominator of the second fraction, which is 3, this one. So we will divide three parts horizontally. 1, 2, 3. Okay? And then, we use the number in the numerator to determine how many parts are to be shaded. So in our fraction, we have 2 as the numerator. So we will shade 2 parts blue. 1 and 2. And then this part here represents 2 thirds of the whole. Lastly, count all the parts that have been shaded twice. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And that will be our numerator. And then let us also count the total number of equal parts in the whole rectangle. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And that will be our denominator. So, what is 2 thirds of 3 fourths? The answer is 6 twelfths. Therefore, Carla shared 6 twelfths or one half of the whole pie. Let's have another example. John has 3 gallons of paint. He used three-fourths of the paint. How many gallons of paint did he use in all? To answer this problem, we need to draw a model to represent the three gallons of paint. Here we use circles. Then we'll divide each circle into four equal parts as to the denominator of the fraction. Then we will shade three parts as to the number in our numerator. So what you see in the illustration is, 3 fourths of 3. And what is 3 fourths times 3? In our illustration, how many fourths do you see? Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Then we'll draw another circle to accommodate all the 9 fourths. So we'll divide this one again into 4 equal parts. And let's just transfer all the colors to the other side. And we'll count all the fourths. 1, 2, 
3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Okay? And this part here represents 3 fourths, another 3 fourths, and another 3 fourths. So 3 fourths times 3. So what is 3 fourths times 3? We have 1 whole, another 1 whole, and 1 fourth. So 3 fourths times 3 equals 2 and 1 fourth. Therefore, John used 2 and 1 fourth gallons of paint in all. What have you learned today? You have learned how to visualize multiplication of fractions. And here are the steps. First, draw a region. Then divide it into equal parts as to the number of denominator. Then use the numerator to determine how many parts that need to be shaded in. Next, we divide the width of the rectangle up by using the number in the denominator of the second fraction. Now use the numerator to determine how many parts that need to be shaded in. Use different color to shade in the second fraction. Then lastly, count all the parts that have been shaded twice. This is the numerator. Then count how many equal parts are in the whole rectangle or region and that is the denominator. It's practice time. Okay, I'm going to give you some word problems for you to solve using area model. And I'll give you only 5 minutes to finish it, okay? And timer starts now.
Okay class, that's all for today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed the activity. Okay, so see you next time. Have a lovely day everyone.